So the main benefits of photochemical machining over say like a laser or an EDM process, it's all thin material and we don't have any burrs or heat affected zones. The other advantage is when you have say a tiny part, that we can lay out that part on this entire sheet and all of it gets etched at the same time. So like a laser in EDM has to individually trace out every single one of these cuts. Where us, we just stick it inside our machine and it all gets sprayed with acid and etched at one time. So there's some major cost advantages over some of the other processes. Hi, my name is Justin Miller and I'm the sales manager for Keymac Technology and we do photochemical machining. This material right here is nitinol. It's a nickel titanium alloy and we're one of the few etching companies that can process it. It's used a lot in medical devices. And the advantage is it's a super elastic alloy so you can stretch it out and it will go back to its original form. It's also biocompatible so it works well for implantable devices. So the other advantage of it is you can heat set it. So you can wrap this up in a circle, you heat it up to 2000 degrees and then it will always go back to that form. So for say like a stent, they can crunch it up, stick it inside the body and it will open inside the blood vessel and hold its shape. So this is our etch race car, and right now it's blue because it's got our photoresist on it. And as you can see, the way our process works is we'll coat the material with a photoresist, which is UV reactive. We can then print an image on it using a uh, mylar photo tool. And um, once we develop it, it leaves bare metal exposed. So in our process, we put it inside the machines and we can etch all the way through it. The advantage is if you don't mask the backside, but mask the top, we can do a half etch process where we just eat halfway through the material. This can be advantageous for um, flow channels or um, putting your part number in the part during our standard process. These things right here, here are shields. So this material is actually called nickel silver. It's a copper nickel zinc alloy. The advantage of it over say a copper is when you use it on a circuit board, you can solder the base material without needing tin plating. The other thing we'll do is we'll put these half etch lines in there and that's so you can fold the sides up and make a box. So instead of needing so like hard tooling, this half etch line will help you get that straight edge so you can get a good 90 degree angle on it. Oh, volumes, we do all the way from prototype up to mass production. We have some customers that we're making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of parts for them every year. Um, so really, it, it all depends on the size of the part and the thickness. We go between a 10 thousandths of an inch all the way up to about 60 thou on the high end. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com. Mm -hmm.